Hey everybody, Fishman here. Welcome to another video. We are currently still in lockdown here, which means I'm having a bit of difficulty getting some of the supplies I need for some of those ongoing projects. So I thought while I was waiting for those things to show up, I would take care of another little project I've been thinking about. And actually I've been thinking about a fair amount more lately uh, since I did up the video for the three month results for the plant growth substrate experiment, especially the soil one, because I really liked how that worked and I thought if I made these small pots and pick some plants that didn't mind having fairly wet roots, at least uh, down near the bottom, what I could do is take these pots, uh, build some brackets for them and have them partially immersed in the tank. So that way the plants will grow and they'll get self-watered, which is kind of nice. But most importantly, a little bit of that soil is going to leach into those tanks. And I'm curious to see how that is going to affect uh, the growth of the plants that are in there. Now, I obviously didn't need to use acrylic for this. I could have actually used some of the terracotta pots I have in the fish room. And actually, I chose this particular piece of acrylic because it is roughly the same diameter as those pots. And I've used them a number of times before. But acrylic has the one main advantage, and that is it's clear. So I'll be able to see into this and see what's going on. And in this particular case, it's important because I'm going to put these on brackets, and they're going to sit in the aquarium. But I'm not entirely sure how deep to make those just yet. Because, first off, the water is going to wick up into this, and that's going to affect uh, the plant itself. Uh, it's going to have at least some of its roots wet. And, and obviously that's going to affect, again, how much oxygen it's getting, gas transfers, and all that sort of stuff. So I want to be able to observe how well the plant itself is growing, and then also, of course, how its roots are doing. And the other thing is, because I want some of this to leach into the aquarium, I need to also, again, monitor how much of this actually uh, becomes wet. So if not enough of the soil becomes wet, uh, it's not obviously going to do what I want it to do, and uh, if obviously if it gets too wet, uh, the plant won't do well, and uh, I have to adjust things. So this allows me to uh, adjust the brackets so that I can have uh, have it at the height I want it at. Before I got to the footage you guys are watching here now, I did a couple of steps off camera. Uh, first off, I took the acrylic tube and I cut out three blanks that are roughly about the same size as those terracotta pots I mentioned to you. And then I needed to smooth out the edges. And to do that, I took uh, the arbor that I've seen me use so many times and I rounded out a piece of half-inch plywood that was a fairly snug fit that was going to fit inside this. And I made that because I really don't like uh, putting any kind of vice pressure on any kind of acrylic tubing that's over about maybe an inch, inch and a half. Because it really does deform it, and if I put any kind of force on it after that, uh, you really do run the risk of it snapping. So you can see here it's being used again, and it really does help in the sense that I can really clamp down hard on that, and I get a, because I'm getting such a nice firm grip on it, uh, I don't have any real deflection on uh, the far end here where I'm actually doing the work. I also used it in an earlier clip when I was drilling the holes that are going around the bottom of this. In that case, it wasn't so much from the vice pressure because the vice was actually clamping from the ends, but I was more concerned about, because I was drilling so close to uh, the end of the tube, uh, that the drill bit itself might put enough pressure on here to crack uh, that little piece of acrylic that's left between uh, the edge of the drill bit and the end of the piece of tubing. Because it's only about uh, maybe three-eighths of an inch, uh, so it was actually really quite close. So that really helped out there as well. So here you go. This is pretty much done. Uh, the pots were really straightforward and easy to make, and they actually didn't take that long at all to do. There also wasn't really that much in the way of decisions that needed to be made in uh, putting these together. Now, the brackets, on the other hand, are a bit of a different story. I'm not entirely sure how far into the aquarium uh, these pots are going to need to sit to get the effect that I want. I want them to be far enough in that some of the soil is going to leach into the aquarium and I'm going to see some kind of effect on the growth of the aquatic plants that are there. Now I know that one of the plants that I'm going to be putting in these pots, even though I start it in uh, water all the time, 
if I leave it in water too long, uh, the roots kind of fail, the plant uh, doesn't do well, and eventually it just ends up dying. So I have to be careful not to put it too far in. Now, originally I thought what I would do is I would make these brackets adjustable. But in the end, I decided to go with a fixed format because this is so much easier to put together relative to one that's adjustable. And if I decide I want to try one at a slightly different height, uh, it's so easy just to knock off one of these at a slightly different uh, depth. And also because I am setting up uh, three pots here and there are actually going to be three different plants in them. And uh, even though you're only going to get to see two today, uh, it would be much more accurate if I were potting up the exact same plant at three different heights. And then uh, that would be more valid that way. This is more about uh, will a certain height or depth in the aquarium, I should say, is it going to uh, give me the kind of leaching I want for this? So I think this works out better. In the end, if I decide that I want to try out more of these, uh, we can figure out a bunch of different stuff for that. But for the moment, I just want to put these in aquariums, see if there's any real effect at all, and uh, then we'll go from there. Now, mostly because I'm a fan of the concept of overkill, I decided to put some side braces on these. Uh, really not necessary from a weight point of view, uh, but they will help in keeping the pot from shifting around and then, of course, you know, falling into the aquarium, which I really don't want it to do. And I think in the end, I'm going to probably end up putting a little bit of a lip on uh, the front end of this as well for the same sort of reason. So all I have to do now is to cut these out here on the bandsaw, and then I'm going to weld them into place. And if you watch while I'm doing that, you'll notice that I oversize these a little bit. Uh, mostly because the bandsaw, I mean, it gives a nice cut, but it's nowhere near the same kind of smooth cut as uh, on the table saw, and definitely nowhere near uh, the same kind of quality as there is on the lathe or the milling machine. Uh, so I left a little bit extra on, and then it's very easy to take it over to the belt sander afterwards, after the joint is fully cured, and just uh, remove the excess. So you can see right by my left hand there, there's a little bit of a nub sticking up. And then the same is true on the other side. Uh, you can't see it from here, but a little bit extra uh, goes up beyond the bottom as well. So like I said, it's just very easy to remove that afterwards. And then uh, it's up. like I said, here you go, it's done. It comes out really nice in the end. It's uh, You really can't tell the difference. Uh, and also it actually is a lot easier to do it this way than to try and cut them and, or make templates, I say, so I can cut them exactly. Now, you'll notice that there are two different thicknesses for the brackets here as well. Uh, that's because uh, when it's in the end tank, uh, there's only one sheet of glass. But if it's in a tank that has uh, one beside it as a neighbor, uh, I need the extra space to go between the two. So there you go. It's all done. So this is the first plant I'm going to pot up. This is spider plant, and it is the one that... Uh, really doesn't like having its roots uh, immersed like for like continuously. Like I said, you can see there's a fair amount of root growth here, and it is a, a very nice healthy plant. Uh, but if I left it uh, totally submerged uh, for like a long period of time, uh, they do eventually fail. So what I decided to do here is I'm going to put a little bit of layer of gravel in the bottom and then the soil as you see, and then a layer of uh, gravel on the top. The gravel on the top is completely unnecessary, but I think the gravel on the bottom is going to be useful because I really don't want the soil to uh, like come up the holes and stuff. I really do want this to be a slow uh, leaching effect, and hopefully I'll get that this way. So we'll see how this goes. So popping it in, and you can immediately see uh, the water leaches up quite quickly right to the water level and then a little bit beyond and hopefully there'll be enough roots uh, like above uh, what we're gonna call the water table I guess in this case and we'll see how that goes this is the plant that I'm a little bit concerned about there might be too much water for uh, but we'll see how this uh, how it grows and we'll, we'll see how that goes this tank is doing really well for plants and I'm just curious to see if this is going to give a little bit of a boost and there you go that one's done all that's left now is to pot up the other one, and it is going to be uh, the old favorite of everybody. This is just pothos, so this doesn't matter how wet this gets. Uh, it's going to do fine regardless, and uh, again, I decided to want to try one that I know is going to grow for sure. 
So that's pretty much the end of this. Uh, there will be updates for this. Of course, they'll all be on uh, Sunday vlogs. And as always, if you like this style of video, uh, please like and or subscribe. And always leave comments. Let me know what you think of this little project. Again, it only came up because I am waiting for things to show up. I need some more ammonia test kits for the rest of the ammonium chloride. I mean, there's a whole pile of stuff I want to do with that. But I can't continue that until I get those things. And then again, there's some acrylic I'm waiting for. Uh, there's some wood I'm waiting for, and a bunch of other stuff as well. So here's the pothos. It will do just fine. And, uh, well, we'll see how it all goes. So thanks very much for watching. I will see you in the next video, and bye for now.